reason to read. You know, this Tucker Carlson video where he's basically, <clears throat> he's basically just done what I've kind of like been asking for for a while, really. Some of the someone who actually works for the media or the press to basically admit or disclose the secret uh, methods that they've been using to gain their information on everyone for the newspaper stories. Um, it's basically how the BBC have been working forever, basically, um, just to know all your business. They did it with me, um, which is how I got into the whole campaign and the whole mess and really really the BBC are responsible for my entire life um everything that's happened to me um is because of the BBC and the radio and what they said and did to me um in fact it ended up really why I actually got poorly got ill they caused it um and then you get shitting programs getting thrown at you various like mocking stuff character um basing characters on people you know in your life it's a lot more deeper than what tucker carlson has just seen now tucker carlson's basically admitting that the press are listening to people individuals the the press are listening into people into individuals and you know what do they do with that well share the information and pass it on. Um, particularly like, you know, political parties and government. Really, you know, you've got this whole CIA thing, but the newspapers is kind of part of it. And they're not an independent company when they've got friends and colleagues and they're like passing stuff around, like throwing a rugby ball, passing the ball around, you know. Um, the thing what I don't like about it is this, right? Why, when you are just a normal person walking around, right, in your own life or going around, going about your own business as a citizen, right, there's this whole thing about, you know, strangers and then you've got friends, you know, and people you trust and, you know, the reason that you trust people is because you know them. If you don't know them, you don't normally trust them. Or, you know, there's people you can read and character profile or kind of like, you know, guess or whatever. But then even then there's things you don't tell certain people because they're private things. You don't want them to know. And why why should you have to, right? There are all kinds of different reasons in this, mainly based on other people's behaviours and reactions towards you, um, depending on what they do and don't know. But that's the kind of whole basis of privacy. Now... The big platforms are trying to kind of like get rid of this and sort of almost joke about it in the way that they're setting up the apps and certain things that are said because they kind of like want it to be okay and normal. Um, and I don't think it is, you know. And the worst thing is this. They're telling you not to disclose passwords, not to disclose information, you know. They're going on about online security and all these things, right? But what they're actually doing is collecting all your information so they know all the information on you. And when these companies, like, you know, we don't know who their staff are, we don't know them by name, they don't want to tell us anything about, you know, they give you the first name of the staff, you don't know who they are, they're like behind an invisible wall. Uh, but yet they can see all your messages and read all your messages like on the Fiverr site or on YouTube or on Facebook or whatever. They've got access to all the information. And then these companies are run by Vanguard. It, the, what's happening is us, the citizens, we the people, we are being completely and totally observed next level beyond... Just, you know, one th you know, one thing or another, a bit of information. Absolutely and completely, totally character profiled, um, ranked, you know, in capacity and um, what um, financial capacity you've got, what, you know, um, your capacity to act is like legally or intellectually and so forth and this 
these people who are doing this, we don't know actually who they are. And all your life, you know, oh, you know, just because you've got, you know, customer services or complaints and you can complain to a company about someone or so forth. We're meant to trust these companies, but at the end of the day, right, now they're not so friendly anymore. And all this, you know, usually when you don't when you walk into B and Q, right, or you walk into Walmart. There's not someone at the door who says, um, halt, um, consent, submit, submit, consent. You know, and this is what they're doing on these websites. It's almost like Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, you know, no blades, no bows, leave your weapons here, no blades, no bows, like we're fucking going into Parliament, innit? You know, no blades, no bows, leave your weapons here. Well, I'm unarmed, I ain't got any weapons. It's like consent, submit, accept. What they're actually doing is asking you to give up your rights. Say, no rights here, no rights, no privileges, no rights, no privileges. C come onto YouTube, no rights, no rights. Submit, consent, accept to our treatments. You know, th these treatments, it's almost like on the Saw film or on, um, you know, it, 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 it's wrong. What they're effectively doing is, you know, they, they don't do that in the shop because you wouldn't accept it. If you walked, I mean, the thing is, B&Q has got a good policy for returns, for example, because they're making so much money that they can let you take stuff back, right? But a lot of these online platforms, particularly from other countries or overseas, they're actually, what, what they're doing, these big companies, whenever you're in person face-to-face -face with people and you can go in and speak to someone, they're kind of like, you know, treating you all right, although they're getting rid of all the, um, they're getting rid of the stuff now and replacing all with, you know, you know, card swipe, you know, you're not even speaking to humans anymore in there, you know, by the time they're finished, there won't even be people stacking shelves or asking where something is in an aisle in the supermarket by the time they're finished, and it's all cameras, why do they need to record everyone in the supermarket? They never need to, to do it in, before in the past, why do they need all these cameras everywhere? Why do they need to film everything? You know, it, it, it's it's really wrong. But the online, you know, all their conditions, terms, you know, we can remove anything for any reason. You know, we can um, terminate your account for any reason or no reason. All these things, consent, accept. And then they say, no, you, you don't have your political rights. No. This is a political video. When I put a political video, it has political rights. Why? Because political rights govern political videos, right? This video is a political video. This is a sports video. This is a, you know, uh, a, you know, this is business, you know, advertisements, so forth. This is a political video. It's governed by political law. No, this is a private website. We've got a policy. Yes, you've got a policy, but your policy is what it says in the law. <laughs> your policy doesn't strip the law from us. You know, I'm smoking in your private club. The law of the country tells you what you can do in private clubs or what you can do in private with smoking. The law says that, right? Then your policy conforms with the law. That's why your policy says we will comply with the laws of state, federal, and foreign laws, right? This is the thing. It, it, I don't. It's almost like you know on um, Ghost when it gets you know when it gets you so when you get the souls dragged out. You can't separate the law from you know the person from the state because it's attached to you like your soul. Apparently, you know, the law is the law. What these platforms seem to be doing is going through laws and going, yeah, we like that law. No, we don't like that one. What company policy, right? Yeah, we'll have that. We'll have these laws, but we'll have that one. No, these are the laws. <laughs> you will have the smoking laws in your private house. What the fuck it says in the law? If the the law says you know you uh, can smoke in your own house, then you can. If the law says you can't smoke in your own private house, then you can't. Right? The law says what you can do in public and what you can do in private. Right? 
But what YouTube and Google seem to be doing is, um, you know, on their private platform, you know, oh, this is, you know, sport, this is sex, this is, you know, pornography. It was almost like, you know, can you imagine if... What I don't get is if, if Google can make up their own laws about what they want or their own policies, why aren't they having a policy where oh, copyright doesn't apply on this platform? Why aren't they saying to, like, Warner Brothers, oh, um, you know... People can, um, you know, people can just upload whatever videos they want on this platform. Uh, copyright doesn't apply, or you know, you know, what, what, not even the fact that they've got this third-party immunity. Why don't they just say, well, you, Warner Brothers, this is a private website. Um, your, your copyright doesn't apply on here. All of our users can can publish um, what they want on this um, on YouTube. Because we've got a policy, consent. We, you know, Warner Brother movies are on here. Warner Brothers have to consent to give up their copyright on this website. You know, consent, Warner Brothers, consent. Well, we, actually, we're not consenting because it's not us who are uploading it. It's other people. Well, they're consenting. If you upload something, you know, consent to your video being uploaded, you consent to not have the copyright laws applied, you know. So, so the basis of what they are trying to claim is that because it's a private website, they can somehow um, strip law away from whatever they fancy, um, which you know makes me think: why don't they just fucking monetize all our videos and say, well? Um, this website's private, you know, so copyright law doesn't apply to it at all whatsoever because it says in our policy, anyone who uses this website agrees that um, they relinquish their copyright, um, they relinquish their copyright um, rights, you know, because it's private, you know, so that means Warner Brothers, Universal and so forth, really, you know, relinquish their rights. Why don't they do that? You know, oh no, they'd never agree to it. They'd never consent. They'd never submit. They'd never accept because then they wouldn't be making money out of it. Oh, so YouTube's actually only created. You know, well, why YouTube's not Warner Brothers? Why does YouTube give a flying f about Warner Brothers or Universal Studio if it's private, right? Why doesn't YouTube just say to Warner Brothers or Universal Studios, you know, um, tough? You know, this is our website. We'll run it how we want. So what what actually seems to be the case is that YouTube seems to be um, there to make money for Warner Brothers and Universal Studios. Rather than being impartial and unbiased, they're actually, oh, we're here to make money for Warner Brothers and YouTube. Uh, sorry, Warner Brothers and Universal Studios. YouTube is here to help Universal Studios and Warner Brothers make money. They could easily, you know, try and claim, oh, we're here just to have, to have videos for people, you know. So this whole thing about us, we the people, the user, anyone can read and watch YouTube um, from a public library without being a member. It's not private. Um, you know, why can't, um, you know, but yet, Anyone can have an account. So the thing is, political videos are governed by political law. This is like the Advertising Standards Agency. It's almost like can you, YouTube saying to Advertising Standards Agency, you know, oh, uh, we're private, so you can't govern us, you know? It, uh, you know, th this is the thing, like Ofcom and, you know, so forth. Of, uh, Ofcom now govern YouTube, or do they? You know, why doesn't Ofcom have a policy saying, you know, Ofcom, go away. Advertising Standards Agency, go away. Um, these are private adverts. It's a private website with private adverts. They're not governed by Advertising Standards Agency. You know, go away. <laughs> it, 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 that, that's effectively what they're trying to do with political rights for some odd, strange reason. They kind of somehow believe that um, <laughs> they, they can strip the particular laws that govern the regulation of political videos, which is that it, it can't be regulated or governed, not by private interests. Um, you know, political videos, you know, um, are free. And that's the point. You know, you've got freedom of use of, you know, the press or any publishing that lets people publish um, 
anything that allows people to publish. Um, but what they're saying, these big platforms, no, it's harmful to us, it's harmful to us. Well, they, they never used to say that before in the newspapers. You know, there were different political opinions. Um, you know, I, I, <laughs> well, what I think these big companies don't actually want to accept is that the some of the adverts are harmful to us. Some of the things they are getting us to consent, accept, agree to are harmful to us. Habits, advertising influences, really horrible controls on the phone, a lot of it. Um, it's actually harmful to us. And the fact is that we don't really have many options. You know, everyone's using YouTube, everyone's using Facebook. Um, a lot of it's harmful to people, like all these Facebook highlights and so forth that are, you know, making people think that other people have, have got all these perfect, um, you know, lives and all these, you know, by seeing the highlights, you know, there are a lot of videos talking about the psychology of that now. But anyway, getting back onto this Tucker point, so, yeah, what we're basically... What's happened is we are comp all of your information on your phone and all of your conversations, you know, all the things that you're, you know, your whole life that, you know, you might be planning to go here or want to go there on holiday or why would you want strangers to know your plans, right? And the fact is that the reason you don't tell strangers things is because you don't want you don't like other people knowing your plans, right? So, and this is the thing with this Tucker Carlson thing. That means when people know your plans, they can make plans around you and they can affect your life and have things happen to you because they can plan things happen to you. And that is not good, really, because you don't really want people to plan things to happen to you. You know, and mainly the celebrities, I think the celebrities like Elton John, you know, and, and, and Tucker uh, have been listening to the whole time, you know, as long as celebrities have been Marilyn Monroe and Elvis, you know. Uh, and that's why they've been able to manage celebrities easy. They choose ones that go along with the mainstream. They don't, they haven't championed, you know, um, celebrities on TV in the past before that are going to go against the system, or like David Icke, you know, but he got ridiculed, you know, back with Terry Wogan. Um, and now we've got these celebrities who are getting attention who are doing, who are challenging it and disclosing it, like Tucker now, and like, you know, um, you know, Tice, uh, Verbs, Brand. Oh, these people are suddenly harmful to the system, the whole regime. And that's why they need to know more and more about who they are so they can filter, categorise, classify everything. You know, what are they working on? What are they planning? Uh, so it's become a, a type of warfare, really, uh, in order to outthink, outstrategize other interests. Why? Because they've accumulated these massive platforms and power. They want everyone to use these platforms. They want everyone to submit, consent, agree. And they want to develop the novel technologies to control everyone. And they're also even redesigning the language and meaning in order that when things mean a certain thing and that might not be in the interest of the platform, they introduce new words and terminology and meaning. So it redefines the meaning itself Night is day and day is night. So therefore, you know, political freedom no longer means political freedom anymore. It no longer means immunity. It means election misinformation. It means that, um, you know, it, it means that um, you aren't free. You, you don't have special rights. Um, you, you know, wherever you say special rights now means you don't have special rights. You know, wherever you, you know, whatever it said before, now say something else. You know, when it used to be, you know, now um, naughty, you know, naughty means bad. You know, if you, you know, like O'Connor, um, you know, O'Donoghue, you know, O'Leary, you know, um, O'Hanahan, it, they're naughty names, they're bad, bad names. We're redefining um, the zero to mean bad, naughty. You know, this is like what Merriman Research was on about changing the names that they did in Ireland and so forth. 
this, this is why a lot of history is corrupted. Um, like the word loony, they, they, they use the word loony to mean like a lunatic or someone who's bad or um, mental. But when the, the lunar is meant to be the moon, you know, um, moon cycles. And, and, you know, you, you could start going on to the whole recumbent stone circles, you know, what we're studying the moon and then the cycles and so forth. There's a lot of language perversion gone on through history. I see this with the Tories. Whenever a side is winning or doing well, they kind of steal a term for themselves. It's like the word liberals, you know, with the whole George Galloway doesn't support liberals, but the the word liberal was meant to be the people being free and not being subdued by the king, by the state. The people were liberal from rule of the king. Now they use this neoliberal word for the complete and total freedom of the elite. But that's not freedom of the people, that's freedom of the elite to go into excessive bounds, um, limitless money, limitless power, limitless uh, material possessions. That's not liberal for anyone except this 3% or this, you know, elite oligarchy. That's not liberal for we the people. That's, um, so what they've done is they've stole the idea of being free from everyone and taking it for themselves, like they've taken all the money from everyone for themselves. For the, for the, th so it, it's, it's like this word woke, you know, um, w woken up, enlightened. The enlightenment is to basically, like Tucker Carlson is enlightening us now on being spied on and listened, listened into. Um, that's been enlightened, you know, uh, knowing the truth about history, knowing the truth about, um, you know, these government departments, knowing the truth about what these people are really actually doing through intellectual understanding. What what are these corporate elites planning? What are these corporate entities doing that they aren't telling us? Well, we can work it out by, you know, what are they designing, what are they making, and what are those things going to do, and what's currently happening to us all. Uh, it all adds up to something. It all makes sense. There's a narrative. It, the intellectual can see what's happening without having uh, misted googly goggles on or Ray-Bans or whatever um, blocking their vision, whatever lost in the metaverse, lost in distraction. We becoming enlightened to, to know the truth and what's going on, but they don't want that to mean that anymore. They've got this new work word, which means politically, politically correct to, you know, Rishi Sunak's new ridiculous laws, which, you know, you can't say this, you can't do that, you can't really do anything. All these forms of discrimination, yet we are consenting to all these companies where they can discriminate. Consent, consent, submit, admit. I, I just don't get this whole Rishi Sunak philosophy of more and more and more and more and more and more discrimination laws that these companies are getting us to relinquish consent to our policy. You cannot um, complain about anything. We can remove your account for any race, any religion, any sex, and anything. So why is Sunak making all these laws so we can't do anything to each other or say anything to each other, but yet the companies can discriminate like on hellfire the, 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 we must I, I don't get Sunak he the policies that he and his best buddy pals are introducing are exempt giving them immunity from everything that they are currently enacting every single thing that they're bringing in now to govern us when we go on their platforms, we have to give those rights immediately up as they're being enacted. We cannot um, um, prosecute or complain against any of these huge platforms for discrimination, for sex discrimination, um, for religion discrimination. They can terminate, terminate your account for any reason or no reason at all. They don't have to answer to us. They don't have to give any names up about who their staff that they're dealing you are. 
You don't have to give you a phone number and speak to you on the phone. They, they don't have to do anything. We must consent to absolute, to just be bitch fucked up the ass. And I really don't know why Rishi Sunak thinks that's a good thing when he sits there with his legs crossed and his sock suspenders halfway up his legs and he's, you know, touchy-feely hand on your leg and I'm Rishi Sunak, I'm a modern man in the modern world. Um, this is the future, let's make progress. Um, I'm an intelligent mathematician, uh, I've got handshakes and business pals and I'm the future of innovation and technology. Yes, Rishi, but you've just enacted technology 10,000 new forms of discrimination, yet as soon as we consent to admit, admit to the websites, uh, you can bitch fuck us with every single fucking one of those because none of them apply. So what's the point in enacting them? Oh, no, you're subject to those. Then you can't, you know, speak to each other, message each, just to make sure you don't all come together and unite, you know. We want you all to, you know, um, block and ban each other. You know, you looked at each other funny, you sniffed each other funny, you know, you called someone a man, you called someone a woman. You can't do anything, you know. If you, you know, you can't even look at each other now. Um, but we can do anything to you on the platforms. We can, we can, you know, we can turn your account inside out, upside down, you know, whatever the fuck we want. It just doesn't make any sense at all. It is a form of governance that we don't vote or elect. In fact, we give up our rights. They are getting us to consent, submit, agree to um, abuse. And their adverts are not even promoting products anymore. They're all political, political acting, political theatre, politically motivated, political language. Even the response, Google ads is all political response now, making a point. Everything you've looked at, you know, whatever you're surfing on the internet, whatever you're looking at, there's a fucking ad popping up giving you a fucking mouthful back, which is Sunak's kind of... Um, personal parliament pal, you know, um, your personal, um, you know, you know, it's like his AI army, you know, they'll, you know, we, they can personally have a little poltergeist, um, you know, on you all the time with this AI to defeat you. Politically knock you back. All which all what you're looking at and entering onto your phone um, to try, you know, retaliate against the government. They are reflecting back at you with their personal AI poltergeist, and it's not helping you do anything except, you know, um, buy more commercial products and shit as well to sap all your money. You know, when we, we want money to be suing these companies, we want money to be doing legal cases, we want money to be getting our 38 degrees petitions put back up, we're taken down unlawfully, we want money to, you know, get our YouTube videos put back up, we want, um, you know, money for, um, you know, making Wiltshire Council do referendums um, for Stonehenge Tunnel because they've gypped us off, you know. They, they literally are... You know, if you ever, this whole, you know, selling your soul to the devil, I, I, it's never been more prominent than these new consent, submit, agree, consent, submit, agree. It literally is the devil manifested, you know, these consent, submit, agree forms, when they, they're illegal, half of them. All of these policies are illegal, it's all, you know, and there's never been anything stranger than an AI program. We really need to do something about this obsessive military um, journalism spy network that really is taking over the fucking planet. The people who work for these organisations are really need to fucking... They should go on strike because they're the ones who have sold out on us. Anyone who works... You know, we don't need to be locked down by a fucking virus. We shouldn't be waiting for the next virus to come and lock us all down. 
People, we should be volunteering to lock ourselves down. All these people who work at Google should, like, just go home and go on strike. All the people at Amazon should just get up, go home, go on strike. They should all strike because what they are doing to us is evil. The whole of Amazon workforce, McDonald's, you know, Burger King, Google staff, they should all go home and go on fucking strike because what they are doing to everyone else is, well, it's actually illegal, you know?